Tonight, the family of a 19-year-old Creighton student has posted his bail and is getting him released from jail. Investigators believe he stabbed a young woman in her dorm early Saturday. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. The father of Christopher Wheeler came to Omaha from Kansas City to get his son and take him home. What he told KMTV about why his son was swinging a knife is stunning. Reporter Maya Sines is live with details tonight. Maya. Yep, Craig, Jen, Christopher Wheeler's dad said it was forced drinking and drugs that made his son act erratically and stab the woman's neck after a failed fraternity pledging activity. Now, Wheeler is banned from campus and the fraternity Phi Kappa Psi is suspended from all school related activities, but not all things. That's a fair decision made by the school. A Creighton University's fraternity is suspended and one of its pledges is banned from campus after he allegedly cut a female student with a pocket knife in a campus dorm over the weekend. 19 year old Christopher Wheeler was charged with second degree assault and use of a weapon to commit a felony. But his dad says his son was not in the right state of mind when he stabbed the woman because he was forced to drink and take drugs as a punishment for failing a pledging activity. He said that it felt like everybody was an imposter and nobody was who they said they were and that he um, he didn't feel comfortable and he ran down to his room and he, he um, tried to get his key to work in the door. The key wouldn't work so he called back up and they said, you know, geez Duke, they were, you were waving a knife around. The investigation conducted by the school and OPD resulted in the fraternity suspension. The university has made the decision to suspend the Nebraska Beta Chapter of Phi Kappa Psi fraternity. The school's vice provost for student life says they suspended the fraternity as a safety precaution while they continue to investigate the events prior to the assault, which appear to be related to the fraternity. In its student handbook, Creighton University says it has a zero tolerance for hazing, but some from Creighton's Greek life say suspending the entire frat was too drastic. It's like allegations doesn't necessarily mean that it's true. So I don't know if suspending Phi Psi was the right thing to do. I think there's a lot of stereotypes that go along with Greek life, but not all of them are necessarily true, especially at Creighton. We're all like a small community and we all care about each other, so I don't think hazing ever really occurs here. The national chapter of Psi Kappa Psi sent came to via statement saying that the frat extends their thoughts and prayers to the victim and her family and wish her a speedy recovery. They also said Kappa Psi is cooperating fully with the investigation. As for the local chapter, the fraternity cannot participate in any school related activities, do any recruitment or wear their letters while on campus. Reporting live, Maya Signs, came TV Action 3 News. Now, your weather alert first forecast. Well, it's been a mild start to the work week.